Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with all kinds of good news. I found my phone. It was gone for two days and I was freaking out. So, this was the color called Mysterious. Mysterious that DIY Art Minds does not make anymore. And I have discovered, pretty simply, that if I purchase the black pearl, op semi-opaque, from Modern Masters paint, metallic paint collection, okay, this is what this look, the Modern Masters looked like in my bottle, and add to it a small squirt of the unicorn spit. What's the color? What's the color? What's the color? I don't know what the color is. Anyway, it came in a set, and it just looks like it's blue to me. Blue thunder, blue as, blue azul, blue thunder. Anyway, so very little of that went in here, and then I just put my regular pouring mixture in there, and this is the color I came up with, which I think if I wanted it a little more, a little more green, I could add a little more green. Yeah, right on my canvas. Never mind. But here, just to show you, there's the original color. And there's the new color. And it's similar enough so it's going to make me happy and it's going to be more shimmery than the original. Yay. Yay me. So, I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and a desire to play with my palette knife, assuming that I can find it. Yes, there it is. It's dry. And I have all kinds of places that I need to cover. So, I guess I'm just going to start by doing that. Giving myself a nice wet layer of paint. Getting that unicorn spit out of here. Unicorn spit, it's on my Amazon link underneath the link tree. Should you want that? I've never used the metallic. If anybody wants to buy me a great Christmas present, I'll go for the metallic. Um, I'm going to buy it at some point in time, but I'm still playing with the Arteza metallics and pearls. And um, so that'll be another time, like I said. So I don't need a super heavy layer of, of paint while I prime my canvas because I'll put heavy paint or heavier paint on in places. I'm thinking the gold might be fun. The white pearl from... The gold is a 24 karat gold from Decor at Americana. And the pearl is a white metallic from Anita's. And both of those tend to sell. I also mixed up some of my black gloss folk art enamel which is an acrylic and when you put it in mixtures or you swipe it with any tool chances are very very good that you'll create cells my paint pouring recipe should you guys happen to want it is right below the video and i recently amended it to include that if you use my paint pouring mixture you can definitely add more until you're comfortable or happy with your consistency of your paint. So I tend to like it 50-50. So I use three quarters Floetrol and one quarter GAC 800 by Golden. And the GAC 800 by Golden definitely makes a glossier finish. Not super high gloss, but semi-gloss. Because the Floetrol is very matte. I see you thing. I have tweezers. And if you're looking for stuff that I use, look on the Linktree link. To find the Amazon link, the link tree link is usually right under the video, unless I am doing something for Arteza, in which case their coupon codes come first. Which reminds me, if you guys are looking for playlists for any any reason, including an Arteza playlist, there are always coupons for Arteza paint there, and I try and keep them updated. Okay, so it's the here goes nothing moment, and because I have this paint, I think I'm going to take... The white metallic that I thought I had right next to me. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's start with the gold. And just have some fun. If I make lines that I like, then I can leave some of them behind. It's a squiggle painting. Now really I wanted to take a dish and put some paint in the bottom of it and dip my dip my little uh, palette knife into that, but I think what I'm going to do even before that is just take colors that I like and put them where I want to and use my palette knife now. I mixed up a color that I had. I'm, I'm almost out of my folk art 
color shifting turquoise. And I tried to buy more and they're sold out, which is kind of bad. <laughs> I'm hoping that'll that'll get fixed before long. But this was an art minds I had hanging around and it's iridescent, so it's pretty. I'm still looking for that white. I know it's right here. <laughs> All right, well, let's just give myself, I want that white. <laughs> That's all there is to it. And I've got some, I've got some enamel. That's not going to do it. Crash. Sorry about the noise. I can't believe I hid that on myself. Maybe I should use silver. We should try some silver. Silver is cool and it looks great. And it's a good substitute for white. Well, I'm done. <laughs> what will we do now? That was fun. Let's just go for it. I'm going to take some of this not mysterious. Slide my palette knife around inside the picture. Makes me want some of my Venetian blue from Modern Masters. And just to put it away, beautiful cells coming right up. I still want that white and I'm trying to keep a keep an eye out. There it is. It was right there behind my torch. My torch hides things all the time. Naughty torch. So we're just feeling our way through this right now with the colors that are on the palette knife already. Just sort of smearing and swishing, <laughs> swishing and smearing. Trying not to rub too deeply because I don't want to make the colors go away. Not sure exactly what's going to happen. Just sort of winding here and there. Wondering how many of those lines I want to keep. Knowing that I can just take my bottles. I kind of want to use this, this as a landscape tool. At the, I want to pour a sky and do a landscape with the palette knife, but I don't have very much experience. I know that sounds strange, but I was a watercolor, so palette knives didn't really come into it that often. Or ever. <laughs> Felt nice generally for heavier paints and mediums. That's kind of cool. I like it. I picked good colors. I picked my favorite colors. You know I picked my favorite colors. Now, being that the background black is a little heavy, my, my blue will want to disappear. But as I smooth the paint out, it ought to help that quite a bit. I really wanted to play with that white a lot more. Not sure how far to go or what'll happen, but there's always chain. And I don't have to put the palette knife into every bit of a line, but I'm kind of having way too much fun to stop myself from doing it. So this is totally a learning experience for me. Kind of want to um, put some of that black enamel in, but I don't think it's going to do enough. It just might make things a little muddy for me. Kind of makes me want to swipe everything, actually. That looked like a yes, a dog here. My dog has a nervous problem right now and he wants to escape in my studio while I'm not here, which is not cool. When I go to Prime a Canvas, I've got dog hairs. So, I'm not sure what's happening with this at all. 
but there could be some black in my future. It looks like looks like a painting I did that was a watercolor called Mineral Specimen. Now I really want to just decide if there's a color that's going to make me happy. Oh look, it's the color art Hot Orchid. Go figure. Just lurking in the shadows. Let's give a whole bunch of that. And figure that using favorite colors will often solve issues for me. <laughs> Definitely. I have some nice cells. I did pull out some white enamel. I kind of want to play with it for a second just to see if it's going to do what I'm hoping what I'm hoping it's going to do, which is maybe make some cells, but I don't see them yet. It takes a minute sometimes. If I'm not great at this, you can understand that it's like the third time I've I've done anything like this. And I could use it for a background to pour something over in the foreground, or I could just add some gold to that paint that I already mixed up. Let's see what happens when we tip it. What other color do I want to add in there? I kind of want some turquoise. Whoops. <laughs> I put the blue in first. I really don't want to eradicate any pretty cells, and there are a bunch. Now I'm going to tip for sure. I think I'm going to put some white in there first, though. White metallic to be sure. Exact. Channeling Jackson Pollock again. Sort of. A little bit. All right. So it's sort of begging for chain. And I, I myself would love to have some black. Because I say that, and I know the heaviest paint will flow the fastest. So yes, I like that spot down there, but I want more. not done playing with a spatula, but I'm not sure that I'm going to stick with the palette knife when I can play with my Princeton art tool. Might be getting a little close to too much paint. <laughs> I'm so tempted by the chain right about now. And I basically just have a pretty colored mess on my hands. And I want to be careful about... I can't be judicious and get what I want. I mean about the paints that I have. There we go. Let's have some real fun now. I just want to use the chain, and I've got it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple. Actually, I've got a really long piece. I'll, I'll save that for a moment. Let's just do... Because it's been a heck of a long time since I did this, and I love, love, love doing this.
Just around and around and around she goes. And it's actually going to create a little bit more of a rest area, I think, than I had. Oh, I just got rid of some beautiful cells. And some neat patterns. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm just sort of in a zone. Hoping that I can encourage my muse to lend me a hand. And grabbing a little bit more of this and a little bit more of that. And it does remind me of the ones I did with feathers. Oh, I like what that purple flash did then. And the turquoise flash that I usually use from Folk Art will do the same thing as this. Which wasn't much there, it just basically melted away. So I would say that the purple flash, is, I mean the turquoise flash from Folk Art might be even better. This is this straight line in here is not doing it for me. That's just a pretty background. That'd make great fabric. What nice colors. I don't it's been a while, so I'm a little nervous about when to stop. But I think I should tell you guys, I do sell my artwork, and my email address is right below the Linktree link underneath the video. And sometimes it's under Show More. It's E-A-S-P-B Gallery. The word gallery is spelled out. E-A-S-P-B, and then the word gallery. At gmail.com. What can I say? I'm a fan of chain. And I had to stop adding paint. And I'm just going to look for a few places that I might want to change the odd line up. Drop my chain in, pull it around without it looping over too many times. Make sure to pick it up. Looking for those anomalous, strange little spots that I want to go away. Hoping I don't ruin anything cool. The sooner you pick it up, the more likely you are to get to keep the mark that you like. So there, I did it. Or I almost did it. And I didn't even have to use my big chain. Which I do like doing, actually. That's a mysterious paisley, is what that is. Yeah, I'm still at it. <laughs> so I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Check out my uh, creative playlists and all playlists. If you're looking for my videos, you'll find over 1,700 of them there. And um, I've got just enough white scattered in there. I'm kind of thinking maybe a little... Maybe a few dots. Maybe I have never combined chain pole with dots. And I want to. So I should look at the time and see that the timer's not on. Oh no. Okay, well you're going to be gone in a heartbeat if you're not gone already. So I'm going to tell you guys I love you. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And uh, check the end screen video exhibition video in the last 20 seconds of any video for the month of drawing and you can see the prizes for that monthly drawing and I 
encourage people to use this PayPal to contribute to help keep the studio rolling.